everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Form Says. So my name is Samantha and I just got the most terrifying piece of mail I've ever gotten in my adult life and I'm not even joking. I got this from my electricity service provider and it reads and I quote, Dear Demco member, I hope this message finds you well. We want to inform you about a necessary change regarding your current Demco meter. As part of our routine maintenance efforts, we are replacing meters that are approaching the end of their operational life. To ensure the seamless continuity of electricity service, we'll be exchanging your existing meter for a new one. The change is essential to maintain the accuracy and reliability of our metering systems. Let me show you what a smart meter actually does. Smart meters are watching you. They sense all kinds of goings on. They see when you turn something on or off. They see how many watts your electric toothbrush pulls. They send the record of that little event over wireless networks, bouncing through your neighbor's smart meters all the way to the power company where they keep record of all your electric consumption, volumes, and patterns every minute of every day and store that data forever on computers that you will never get to see. I will tell you that these smart meters only send a report every four to six hours. But the fact is people have tested these and it's reporting every couple of minutes putting radiation around you and your family. Here's what just happened. A Demco representative called me. They said, ma'am, you've had a smart meter on that home since 2007. I said, I understand that. I bought it. It was here. There was nothing I could do, right? He said, well, every four hours starting at midnight, it begins a chirp takes a millisecond, sends all your information to us. I said, I don't want your chirp. I don't want my information chirped to the next person's meter, to the next person's meter, to your computer and stored for whomever you guys choose to let see it. And he didn't know what to say. So he's like, well, that means if we turn the chirp off, that somebody has to come read your meter every month. I said, then send them. That's how I grew up. I'm totally okay with the Dimco guy reading my meter. He goes, well, at the end of 2026, we're going to start charging for that. I said, then charge me. Charge me. I'm okay with that. Folks, you have to fight. If there's anything that you can do to keep them from chirping that meter, you definitely want to. And let me show you why. When it shows a one, it's going over 2,000 microwatts per square meter. So it was probably sending a signal at one point. And again, this is not average. This is showing peak. There it goes again. I brought in a meter that measures the levels of radio frequency radiation. And what I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. But PEPCO says smart meter communications take place every four to six hours. What PEPCO says is happening is that these smart meters send out communications every four to six hours on a daily basis. You didn't know my content's harmful by YouTube's partnership program. Bringing you videos of truth and honesty like this could harm you. Me, I could harm you, but that smart meter won't. Okay, all right. But if you'd like to support what we do here at Storky Formstead, we are dependent upon asking you guys to send at least a dollar. Solicit in comments, please consider supporting us so I can continue doing this. That data shows when you are at home, shows when you're sleeping, shows when you're on vacation, when you have visitors, when you use a lamp, a power tool, some extra computers, and if you look like you're running a business out of your home. It even senses when you bootleg energy off the grid. Your smart meter data shows a vivid profile of your personal living patterns and whether or not you were at home on the night of the murder. They admit that my new meter will provide automatic energy usage reports, real-time monitoring of voltage and outage information, ensuring DIMCO's prompt response to any issue. It will self-detect voltage issues and will allow them to remotely monitor the safety and status of my meter, contributing to an added layer of safety for me and my property. Faults will be isolated quickly and certain circuits can be automatically switched to alternative feeders, ensuring faster restoration times and minimizing disruptions to my electricity. 
While the change is not an upgrade in the traditional sense, the new meters still offer benefits such as detailed information on my energy usage patterns. The information empowers you to make informed decisions about your electricity consumption. But does it? It sounds more like all this information you are gathering on me without my permission, I might add, gives you detailed information about when I'm home, when I'm going, when I am watering my garden. So when they enact laws like, you know, re reduction of water usage, you guys can just snitch on me to the federal government. Folks, this is what you call an invasion of your privacy. Now there is a phone number to call if you don't agree. And trust me, I called it and I did record it, but I don't really know how to work all this stuff and I can't seem to find the recording. It's somewhere on my phone. And I told them, no, I wanna opt out. Oh, well, you know, there is an opt out plan, but you didn't mention it here. You just sent me this and me, like most Americans, gonna open it, glance at it and toss it in the trash. Listen to me. If you get this single sheet of paper, there is a number at the bottom. Call it. Tell them you don't want their smart meter putting something that most of us believe did this. When I was at my sister's house, the houses across the street had not, nothing was wrong with the houses across the street. And then the houses, both houses on the back side, you know, like on the side kind of towards the back, that's where they put the smart meters. So I realized that the, the, the only houses that had the smart meters were the ones where the smart meters were installed on the side, I guess, back of the house. So if they can't get to your regular gas line or your regular electric, electrical line or whatever they're trying to read, then they put the smart meters there so they don't have to come out to check them. Well, it just seems to me that uh, when I was <laughs> while I was standing there and uh, the two houses across the street from my sister's house literally get set on fire at the same time when there's no it's fire. Not just a smart meter, folks. It is a spy system developed way back in 1978. I think I read that's like 46 years ago. So basically what they want to be able to do is monitor you. This is an invasion. Anybody can get your information through a smart meter. Also, a lot of us believe that this is just one step closer to the AI takeover, to the big brother end of a one world order. Now, this article I ran was like 2016, but already they had put in 5 million smart meters, 160,000 smart thermometers for in your house. What they want to do is control you. There's places in America right now that they tell you can't drop your AC any less than 74 degrees or your heat above 65 because it's hard on the grid. Well, then stop sending our tax dollars overseas, buying new cars for military, and put the money here so we Americans can be comfortable in our homes. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you have found out about smart meters. Educate the rest of the people that are going to see this video. Row in our boat, folks. Subscribe, comment, hit the like button, share the video on other platforms. Here is another thing that we are going to have to discuss in depth going to have to break it down, pray about supporting our channel. It's just, it's going to be like mid-May before I can reapply for the partnership program. I love you guys so much. Finishing up my eggs and I'm going to rest till my husband gets home. Talk to you later.